Hey, today I'm going to talk about um, my artistic experience, art schools, and artistic genius versus artistic talent and total just craftsmanship. Um, to begin with, I want just to um, tell you that uh, I actually gone through uh, seven years of solid art school educations. I began with um, um, LaGuardia High School, that is uh, a specialized art, art school in New York City. Um, that's uh, a school of music and art and performance arts, and I was majoring in fine arts. <clears throat> And after that, um, I went to School of Visual Arts, SVA, and major in Fine Arts. Um, that's another four years to get your BFA, the um, Bachelor of Fine Arts. So the thing I want to stress on is uh, all you um, aspirant who aspire to pursue a artistic careers and have to make these distinctions. That is, um, is this really your passion or is this your hobby? Because um, if this is your passion, go for it and uh, you will have no regrets, just like me. If this is your hobby and you feel you got to stick at it and pursue it, see if you're good at it, and most likely you'll end up in uh, some kind of commercial arts, which is great for you as a career. Um, graphic design, commercial arts, computer arts, um, Disney um, animations, that kind of stuff. Uh, what I'm trying to say is um, I pursue it in fine arts um, ever since LaGuardia. Ever since the things before, I mean, I my, my father is an artist and I just feel like art is uh, how I grow up with. And no matter it's drawing cartoons, or no matter it's um, later on it's abstract paintings, or drawing more cartoons about <laughs> dinosaurs that was so and paleo, paleo paleontology, um, all those uh, uh, distinguished dis extinct animals, and it's just part of my passions. And if you do that, and you have no regrets. And I want to say a few things about our schools. It's a really good school. It's a really good education that differentiates itself from other conventional schools. Um, I have a solid education in the liberal arts. Uh, I mean, in, in high school, and I cherish the most is that uh, I got very well versed in the literature classes, and plus film classes even. So I say I read Anna Karenina and Charles Dickens' um, Great Expectations and at the time I was not only so thirsty about, so craving about um, the arts, uh, not only that I read uh, the school requirements. Uh, I read extensively in Chinese literatures, a whole bunch. I mean, I think I read more classic Chinese literature than an average Chinese. Um, but that's just because I was very entrenched in this uh, creativity and that kind of reinforced my artistic creativities. And going on, and because LaGuardia High School is such a great art school and it got me um i got a scholarship from mr jerry seinfeld <laughs> can you imagine that a full scholarship and you go into school of visual arts which is a private art college and anybody you consider to go into art college um you have to consider a couple of criteria it's number one are you really want to pursue this art career or are you just fooling around number two you do have the, you do have your some your artilleries and um, and you have a rich dad <laughs> and that can go through as well. And number three, someone like me and you're just doing really great and you can have a whole bunch.
launch a scholarship, and then you could go. And by the time you're college, it's uh, different from high school, and you're more mature, you're adult, basically, and you consider this is what you want to pursue. So the differentiation here is splits into either you want to go to commercial arts because it's your hobby and you feel you're good at it, which is good. And you go into graphic design, computer arts, and all that good stuff. Or you want to go to pure arts, just like what I get in fine arts. Fine arts. <laughs> and, and I just recollect um, a, a, a saying from a book that, uh, I, I, that's my favorite book from Chinese literature. Um, Qian Zhong Shu, uh, the book title is Wei Chen, and basically it means besieged. And the character, one of the dialogue in the character, um, the guy who tried to mo uh, ridicule the other guy, the guy, because they're in a dispute over a woman, and the, this guy who's came come from a political science department, and the other guy who's also a main character named uh, Fang Hongjie, and um, he, he specialized in philosophy and he went to school in Europe and, and, and the, the guy just ridiculed him saying that, oh, in, in, in the eyes of uh, us, uh, the people who are doing practical stuff, uh, learning philosophy is like learning nothing at all. <laughs> so the same thing is if you want to go into fine arts, you got to prepare yourself. Um, Basically, you're going to come out and it's not going to get you into the job market because there's no job market for fine artists. But then, if this is really your passion, that's the thing. If this is really your passion, then you have no regrets. It just, um, um, first of all, I have received so much education from my um, school um, that I got so much education in the Greek philosophies and Greek history and I ended up went to Greek in some of my summer programs and learning Dante's uh, Divine Comedies and Homeric epics and everything and just feel like it was such a rewarding experience for someone that who wants really a solid rich education um, because you're you're you avid, you're totally you're pursuing that with no regrets, and that's most important. And just remind me, there's there's a classic German uh, there's a classic German poet named uh, Angelus Silesius, and he wrote the poem in, in German. Excuse my pronunciation; it's probably not that precise. It, it says uh, the rose is Onovara see blue hit Val see blue hit and translate into um, the rose is without reason she blossom because she blossom and that's what I'm trying to say if you want to pursue this artistic career and have no regrets because this is who we are and this is just some of my thoughts about all, all of these um, things. And artistic genius is really natural born. Artistic talent is something that you can, you have a shtick on that's because you're talented. Artistic craftsmanship because you work really hard. And most of those apply into applied arts, commercial arts, what I mean. But artistic genius is really apply to the top-notch artists like Picasso, Duchamp, Dali, Pollock, Jim Morrison, my favorite, or Pink Floyd even. I mean, artistic top genius is natural born. That's my opinion.